a gambler? Listen to this one. An ex-mayor's gambling addiction got so bad, she took millions from her late husband's charity to feed it. But before I get to the why here, and believe me, it's actually not the obvious, let me just first tell you this. Former San Diego mayor Maureen O'Connor admits she gambled away a billion with a B dollars. Most of it on video poker. O'Connor was married to the founder of the Jack in the Box hamburger chain. And here's the thing. She won't be prosecuted, at least for now, because of a medical condition. What? Listen to her attorney. Now, this was not, we think, simply a psychiatric problem or a characterological defect, because there is substantial evidence that during this same time, there was a tumor growing in her brain in the centers of the brain that affect and control logic, reasoning, and most importantly, judgment. A tumor, okay. Defense attorney Drew Finling joins me now. A tumor here, ha a medical condition, defending a billion dollars in gambling. She's getting what they're calling a deferred prosecution in the state system we call pretrial diversion. And here's what it means. She acknowledges she did something wrong. She has two years to not get any trouble. She has two years to pay off this indebtedness. And at the end of that, the case will be dismissed and there'll be no charges. This is part of her agreement. Repay more than $2 million to the RP Foundation. Settle all tax liability resulting from receipt of the funds. Receive treatment for her gambling addiction. What do, you, what do you make of that? Well, she's very fortunate. She has a big civil suit for millions of dollars at, which they're anticipating that she's going to be able to receive at least $2 million, pay it off. She has to go to what? Gamblers Anonymous, go see some therapists a little bit, deal with this medical issue, which interestingly enough, really only surfaced in 2011. And as you know, the gambling was going back to 2001. But nevertheless, I think these 24 months is an easy way for her to resolve this case. And Brooke, these type of resolutions in cases like this are usually saved by the federal government for big corporations. We usually, usually see this resolution for corporate resolutions. In other words, you can't put a corporation in jail, give the corporation a couple years to pay off their indebtedness, and divert the case, and then have it dismissed at the end of two years. So you say easy the, those 24 uh, months and that, that, that she probably wouldn't violate and she'll exactly. be uh, clean slate.